Hello everybody and welcome to speed build number 14. As you can see, this one is a houseboat. Now, uh, Island Paradise actually came out about a week ago and the reason it took me so long to actually make a houseboat speed build was because I was just too busy playing the game. And I have to say that Island Paradise is probably the best expansion pack ever. Um, this is actually the second houseboat I've ever built because the first one was actually for my Sims. Um, so I've done almost everything in, that you can in the game. I've unlocked a bunch of Uncharted Islands and uh, already made a five-star resort, which is just great. But uh, th besides the point, that's besides the point. This is my houseboat here called Wave Crest. And this, not, this is not going to be my only houseboat I'll ever do, but I want them all to have a name that has to do with, you know, water in the ocean. So that's why I named it that. And also, you can see that this houseboat has, like, the curved front. Now, there's a bunch of different houseboat hull choices. Like, there's, um, there's four barge ones and two of these, um, uh, curved hull ones. Now, the barge ones actually cost half as much for the same sized one. I just don't think they look as nice as just a curved hull. And since there's four barge ones, there's a lot larger versions than this, actually... I mean, the two, I mean, this is the long and narrow one, and the other one's more of a wider one, so. I kind of like the long and narrow one better. So, as you can see here, I've already done on the outside walls, and now I'm just choosing colors. And that really, really ugly green roof goes very shortly, so don't worry about that. And I use a lot of kind of light colors, like I have the light creamy yellow siding, and I also use some blue stucco on there. And I had some trouble choosing what I wanted to do for the walls here. So, but I eventually went with these interesting tile things. I don't know what you call them. Like, maybe concrete. I'm not sure. So, uh, this house is two bedrooms, one bathroom. And unlike my first houseboat I built, which was on the same hole, but I couldn't fit a whole bathroom, so I had to put in uh, all in one. But this one's more luxurious, and it has a f real bathroom in it. I just don't like the all-in-one bathroom that much because it seems a bit unrealistic to have a full bathroom in like one by one tile space. I mean, it's convenient because it takes. I mean, when the sim goes in there, they take a shower, they use the toilet, and they wash their hands all at once. So, I mean, that's very convenient. But I just don't think that they're very realistic. So I fit a full bathroom on this houseboat, and you can see here I went with a nice front door, and I have a, a lot of nice glass windows. And of course, I use a lot of Island Paradise uh, items here, like that front door and all the windows I've used so far. And I put a nice bay window in the front there, as you can see. So, the floor plan up here, it's just really simple. There's only like four rooms up here. So, I wanted to put a spiral staircase in because I just think it looks nicer than a ladder, and it's obviously easier to use than a ladder because not everyone can climb up a ladder to go everywhere. But uh, there wasn't enough room, so I had to use a ladder, so the only way to get to the bedrooms is a ladder, unfortunately. And I don't particularly like that, but it does mean that there's a lot more space for a proper kitchen, living room, and dining room downstairs, so that's good. And you can see upstairs, there's like a th little third floor room uh, that's only accessible through like the outside the ladder. And that's where the little um, steering wheel goes, like for the ship, the ship's wheel, I guess. So... I put it up there. You can see here I take a while to choose some windows for the back. It took me a long time to choose windows and doors for this house. I don't know why, but um, you can see here I got them. I'm almost finished. I just have the upstairs left to do. And I have like a mixture of these nice large glass windows and the teeny little like shuttered windows, you could say. So that's good. And I have a nice, a lot of balconies out on the outside, so you can just see a nice watch, look at the scenery as you float by. So, well, more like snail pace go by. I mean, houseboats normally are super slow. Uh, I don't know how slow, but they're really slow. So if your sim is handy enough, though, they can actually upgrade them to faster. I haven't actually really tested it out, so I'm not sure how much faster, but certainly try that out because they're really slow and you can see here I had I put a roof over the top of the little um you could call it the I don't know the main cabin I don't know what do you call it on a ship where they have the steering wheel I don't know what it's called but you know where the steering wheel is in there I put a roof on top 
and it kind of looks nicer. The only issue with the look on the outside of this houseboat is that it's really tall and narrow. So in real life, it looked like it would maybe fall over, which is kind of scary <laughs> to think about. But uh, in The Sims, don't worry, houseboats can't sink, they can't fall over, nothing can happen. And the giant sea squid can't attack them, so on a houseboat, you're basically safe. The only issue with them is seasickness. If your sim doesn't have, like, that, what is it called? I think it's a new sailor trait that they have uh, with Island Paradise. I didn't give either of my sims that, and they all, they keep vomiting because of the seasickness, which is most inconvenient. So, if you don't give your sims a sea uh, sailor, I think it's sailor trait, then they're just going to get seasick, and it's not pleasant, so. So, here's the kitchen. Uh, it's it's kind of small, of course, but I, I fit everything in. So, you have a um, refrigerator, an oven, sink, dishwasher. So, that's good. And I saw this, like, this little half wall with, like, the wavy glass on it. That was perfect for this house. So, I used it on there. You can s if you saw before, you'll see it soon anyway. You can see it there. So, I like that. And here comes the dining table. And those little plastic chairs I use, even though they're plastic chairs, I think they look so nice with the little pillows on them. I use, <laughs> I'm using them all the time now. So I'm just adding in the half wall there, and so it's really nice. And I just like this kitchen. I think for some reason, like compared to my other houseboat, I mean, this one's really big. I mean, for a houseboat, I think I did a good job using the space because it's actually not that small. I think it's because I use ladders. So you could see, you could see the ladder there at the side. I just don't think ladders would be the most practical use uh, for every day. I mean, you know, if you only use it like once or twice, it's fine. But, I mean, to go up and down it all the time, I don't think that it would be that nice. So, uh, I definitely would have preferred a sprawl staircase in this house, but whatever. So, here's the living room. As you can see, it's actually a good size. It's quite large. I was able to fit two couches and a nice flat screen television in here. So, that's good. And there's also a, a small balcony out the front of the houseboat, looking out over the front. And you can see the curved bit of the houseboat. I wish you could build out over that, because that would make a much better use of space. But you can't. It's just all kind of covered up with a bunch of rope and whatever else. And it looks nice, but it would be so much more convenient if you could build over it. But uh, Or just at least put like a deck on top and whatever, so your sims could go and walk out on there. But you can't do it. Because you can do that on a barge one, because it's just a barge. There's no, you know, bow or whatever, or stern or whatever ship sides are called. You know what I mean? It's just a barge. So so here I'm just adding in some artwork and final touches to the living room. And you can see I use these like little, little paintings, and I stack them so it looks nice. And we should be moving, I think, to upstairs very soon, of course. And my beautiful bathroom, which is a real bathroom. So... Oh yeah, stereo. I always like having stereos in houses, like when you um, have your Sims playing. I just like to listen to music, because in uh, live mode, there's just not that much, um, there's no sound, really. Because I, I like the build by music, so I like that. So I always, I always usually put a stereo in the house so I can just listen to music while I'm playing the game, which is quite nice. So here we have the bathroom, and I use the new tub and shower from Island Paradise, which is very interesting is that it's almost, ex it is exactly the same as the one from Seasons. Um, so, uh, besides like some little tile detail, otherwise it's pretty much the same. So here, as you can see, I'm just putting in some nice tile, uh, which is that wall paint is also new from Island Paradise, so that's good. And also, if you're wondering, you can download this house without Island Paradise. It's actually not uh, not a big deal. Because even though it's a houseboat, you can, I think you can place, I tried it out, you can place houseboats on land. So if you download it, you just, you know, you'll have the houseboat, but it won't be on a hole. It'll just be placed on a lot. So I tried it out to make sure it worked, and it did, so don't worry about that. So you didn't get this expansion pack, you can still download this house if you like it. Anyway, I wanted to put a double bed in the bedroom, though it wouldn't fit, and it left the other bedroom really small. So both bedrooms are actually single bedrooms, which isn't that convenient, but it's okay. It literally depends on what sim family you have in the house. You know, but they're both single bed bedrooms, so, because it's small, there's really no room to put two bedrooms in here. And you can see this one in particular is really small. 
it's like the size of the bathroom almost. It's not much larger, so it is a really small bedroom. But it's okay. You're just sleeping there. You're not actually living that much in there, so it's fine. So here, as you can see, I'm just putting in some furniture in the room. And that's basically it. <laughs> it's just the bed and the dresser. And otherwise, it's just like little details, like I think a mirror and a plant. And that's really all that goes in the room, unfortunately, because there's no room for anything else. So, whatever. Now we're moving to the other bedroom. Yeah, here we are. This one's larger. It's just really long and narrow. And that's all it is. <laughs> that's all there is to say about it. It's basically the same. But it's just much larger. It's probably about twice the size. And I put like a giant um, dresser, wardrobe in there. So it actually that fills up quite a lot of space. So I mean, it doesn't take out any more space than a normal dresser would, but it makes the room feel smaller because it's such a big piece of furniture. So I think we'll be finished on the second floor soon, actually. Just finishing up this bedroom. And then we should be moving to the, to the little room on the top of the houseboat so you can steer it so here we go we should be going there soon um oh yeah, yeah. well we will i see i don't i'm i'm so tragic with this i have no idea what's coming up next anyway yeah we're gonna do the railings my bad oh yeah in the hole you can color that as well so i'm just changing the color i played around with a bunch of really really bright colors there but i settled with i think i think it's a similar color to what the siding is so that's good and i also wanted to put in some columns I don't now but I do at the end because it does the columns actually make the house the columns I use actually make the house look a lot more substantial so so here I'm just putting in some railings so your sims don't fall off even though they can't fall off anyway you know it's just important and we should be we are moving to the top floor right now so up here you can see I have um, the really bright blue tile. But there you can see this, you could see for a moment, there's a steering wheel. And I'm just changing the color. There's really not much up here just besides that and like a little cabinet. So, I mean really that's it. So it's not that detailed, but it doesn't really need to be. Because, why, why does it? I've, l I've been looking around at a bunch of the other uh, houseboats that um, came with the game before I started building my own. And I noticed a lot of them actually had the steering wheel just out on the roof. <laughs> and, uh, I did that with my first houseboat, and my sim started to burn. I got, like, sunburn and horrible stuff from that. So, <laughs> definitely, uh, I think it's definitely better to put it inside a room. So, that's what I did here. So, your sims won't get sunburned, which is superb. Or won't spontaneously combust, so that's good. So, yeah, I just put in the columns. You can see they look really nice. I like them on the front. And I just put a couple around the back as well. And we should be just doing some outdoor furniture now, which is good. So, because I mean, there's so many decks, you might as well do it. And there's a lot of space in the front of the houseboat, so I got it in my mind that I could fit a, a boat on there, but I couldn't. So that was tragic. You'll see. I'm gonna try to put a boat trailer on on the. <laughs> look at that, it's huge. So I gave up on that, but I did put a windsurfer on there. I couldn't fit a proper one, so I just put a little mini one for children. So you'll see I do it <laughs> right there. So that's good. Here's a little windsurfer. And I think, yeah, here we go with the furniture. So I put a couple of potted plants and a nice lounger, which is very nice. And you can see it right there. And I just like the way this housebar turned out. We're actually nearing the end here. And on the roof, you see we have a, I have a very nice um, grill and some nice furniture. Um, so that's lovely, and we should be finishing very soon after I put in a table and in some landscape lighting, of course. Um, the only thing I think is that, outs like with The Sims, there's really no point in having outside spaces because only bad comes from it. I mean, they get sunburned, they get hot, they don't really that enjoy being outside that much more than being inside. And besides, who's really going to hang out on the roof anyway when you have the beautiful beaches to spend your time at anyway? So, But I put furniture up there anyway, and I just included that in the house anyway. <laughs> so everybody, uh, we will be moving to the pictures soon, and I hope you enjoyed watching.